alongside former champions and world number ones, new stars on the court at the Royal Albert Hall. Instead of ball boys and ball girls, a new type of retriever. They're quick and they love chasing fast moving objects, although they may be less willing to hand them back. For Tim Henman, a proud owner, the new ball dogs make an exciting, if slightly risky addition to the Champions Tour finals. There's quite a lot that could go wrong. Um, hopefully there's no accidents on the court and no players, line judges get bitten. But uh, besides that, I think it will go perfectly. Is there a risk it could distract players? Hopefully, yeah. I think that would, uh, that would be a good... Because I've had a bit of practice now with the, uh, um, in the lead-up to the event and obviously today being out on the court. So I think I'm ready to have the dogs on the court, whereas if my opponents aren't, then that's going to be to my advantage. This is the first time dogs have been used on the tour. It features retired players on an impressively converted court at one of London's most famous concert halls. But with these ball boys and girls, eyes may well be drawn to behind the baseline. Well, this is Melvin. He's a four-year-old Labrador Golden Retriever cross, and he's one of three dogs here today. But this isn't their actual day job. They're all from the charity K9 Partners, and normally they're supporting people with disabilities. So they can work in the home, so you can pick up items, help unload the washing machine, open and shut doors to help somebody in around the home, um, as well as help them out in public places. So maybe activate lift buttons, pedestrian buttons, and help with the shopping. More than 400 people with physical disabilities have a dog trained by the charity. And as impressive as they may be, they've still needed a bit of extra training to make sure they don't grab the ball mid-rally. Sam Holder, ITV News.